Hey guys, good morning. Before I head out today, I'll show you where I'm at here in Centralia. Uh, across the street here, you've got the Centralia Middle School. And right across the street from the middle school is the largest indoor rifle club shooting range. <laughs> awesome. So. You staying warm? All right, I've, uh, I've attached the microphone and unplugged the charger for the GoPro because I realized that in trying to defrost the outer window, the defroster just blows straight into the back of the GoPro and makes the audio unusable. I found that out yesterday, actually, so this is what we're gonna try instead. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I jump back on the freeway the reason why I boondocked in this part of Centralia last night was so that I could get to this place up here this other used RV wrecking yard and I've been here before I've never filmed or really talked much about it or actually gotten any parts from this place but today I'm really gonna go try to find some parts the problem with it is that unlike conventional like RV wrecking yards where you look at the outside of the RV and then like you know it's going to look something like yours. This place doesn't have any RVs that you're going to see. They're a recycling company and so when they get their RVs, like when they get one RV in, they have a whole team of people who strip it down and then they put all the parts in specific places of this warehouse so that you as a consumer can go into this place that's mostly indoors but about 20 percent of it is outdoors anyway you go inside and look through all of the parts if you're looking for a water heater there's a water heater section if you're looking for um amber lenses for the exterior clearance lights they've got a bin of different sizes of those so I think it's really creative and I wish I knew of one of these places in every single state along the way when I'm looking for parts, but uh, we'll go see what they got. If they don't have what I need, it's okay. We're just going to get back on the road and probably get into Oregon t today, be you know, probably be sleeping in a different state tonight, but we'll go check this place out first. West Coast RV Recycling and Sales. So I'm going to start uh, outside because it's not raining right now. They've got a few projects they're working on. Here's all the, the jacks. You kind of see everything has a section. Here's an RV they're taking apart right now. Gutting and everything, actually. But you walk to the back here and it's all your hubcaps, awning parts, a bunch of sinks. And then you get to the section where you got glass, <laughs> a whole bunch of different window glass. And the part I'm going to be interested in is the screens and stuff in here. So I brought my tape measure and I'll probably be busy for a little while here. Bunch of ladders. See what I mean? But being an RV toy store, bumpers. That's a Ford bumper right there. Perfectly straight. Bunch of propane tanks. One of these is the size I need to replace the, the valve that has the button. So I need this whole assembly right here. Generator covers, compartment doors, everything. Heck yes. I found two. They are a little long and they're not quite wide enough, but I think they'll work. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a chance. Take a chance on those guys.
bunch of random blinds. Those ones actually almost look like the ones I have. This rest stop right here says free coffee. <laughs> Let Jack stretch his paws. I'm not looking for any dump stations or water availability or anything like that for a while. I've actually uh, really helpful to look on the All Stays app that I have, and I found the next one at a rest stop that's free dumping and free water is the, like the Saginaw, Saginaw on the Oregon coast. And I've already added it all up and calculated it. And I do have enough to last until then. So that's the plan. Toodle River safety rest stop. Free coffee on the road. You can't beat it, man. You can't beat that. Come here. Come here. Hop up. Come on. All the way. All the way. Hop up. Come on. Way up here. There you go, buddy. Wanna go chase some crows? I don't know. Those crows are pretty bad. They might get you. How you doing? I don't need cat butt in my face. Yeah, they want cat butt. Give the world cat butt. There you go. That's better. <laughs> Put your cat butt away. You can go outside. you see out there, Jax? Are you eyeing those crows? Yeah? Gonna get them? Okay, we'll go outside. <laughs> we'll sniff around a little bit. Whoa! Holy cow, man! <laughs> that scared the cat poop out of you, huh? <laughs> Poor guy. He's taking me for a walk. I know, meow. Check everything out. What? You whining? Why are you whining, buddy? All right, well, it is foggy outside, but well, it's too bad. Maybe later in the day the, the sun would come out, but... There's my view. Very nice, right? Big old Columbia River over there. I like this sign over here. It says, Dumping rubbish prohibited. <laughs> What's rubbish? <laughs> I didn't bring any rubbish with me, so I think we're good. <laughs> there we go. I got the solar panel tilted on the roof and my batteries were hungry. That says 14.7 amps coming in. 14.7 amps. 
14.8. I've never seen it that high before. My batteries were thirsty, thirsty for some, some charge rate. And again, you know, why not live here? I can park anywhere and live anywhere in this country and just be happy, you know? It's just a recharge, you know? I've got to get on the laptop and edit some video and upload a video, so, I mean, it works. And that's the view. Um, it doesn't always have to be a majestic setting outside my door, but it's functional and it sure beats paying $45 a night to camp. So, all right, guys, um, have a great day and I'll see you in a couple days or sooner. Hey guys, Jack's here along with his human servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. We got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later. <laughs>